Atheism is an absence of belief. In other words, it's vacuous, it's meaningless, it doesn't mean anything. Hmm. Well, actually, my atheism isn't an absence of belief. Consequently, I get to think about all kinds of cool stuff that other atheists don't, like theological reduction, for example. <laughs> Roughly, reduction is talking about things in terms of other things, like liquids in terms of gases, about water as two hydrogen atoms to an oxygen atom. Doing this helps us understand the world and solve problems in it. However, people who are afraid of scientific truth, sometimes on ideological, sometimes on theological grounds, often speak ill of reductionism well into an old age that is secured for them by its fruits. A popular philosophical approach to reduction is the Ramsey Lewis method. It's got nothing to do with keeping score in cricket or playing jazz piano. Rather, it's a technique for intertheoretical reduction, whereby things talked about in the context of one theory are talked about in terms of another. It starts by harvesting the statements used in commonplace talk. Then it maps the significant relations, such as causal relations, that are presumed to hold between things thus discussed. This is the first, or folk, theory. It then posits matching relata within more refined, more testable theories, such as well-supported scientific ones. These are the mature, or second, theories. In establishing these relations, the terms of the first theory are thereby reduced to those of the second. For the purposes of stimulating discussion, I'd like to propose that this technique can be applied to theology. Firstly, we could harvest the platitudes of folk theology. Then we could map the relations between its various posits, its deities and its graces, and the religious experiences of those who appeal to such things. Next, we could detail matching relata amongst the posits of our best empirical theories. Having done so, and having made the relevant um, revisions, we'd have opened up theology to an enlightening scientific scrutiny. So, everyone... Do you think this is plausible? If not, why not? And if you do think it's plausible, is it desirable? Please use the shiny new comment section, including links to any video responses, to let me know. Thank you for listening. <laughs>